Good morning. It's almost 8 o'clock. I'm getting a much later start to the day, but yesterday I was so tired. So I slept in. Besides, it was raining earlier this morning, so I'm just up. I have a lot to do today, but I feel like I'm just going to hang around and do a little reading this morning. I haven't finished a book yet, but I've been reading. I read the Tesla Legacy yesterday, and my plan is to finish it today. I'm also reading a part of my history book because I need to meet up with my student later today. So I have some reading plans, I have some work plans. I'm gonna make my to-do list and see how many of those things I can cross off before the end of the day. And I guess we'll see how the rest of the day shakes out. I'd like to finish a challenge today, which if I finish the book I'm reading, then I'll be able to cross off the book with a purple on the cover and then maybe even get started on another challenge or maybe complete a second challenge, is that possible? Let's not be too ambitious. It is just day two of Reading Rush. I'm heading to my afternoon appointment. I have a student that I tutor on Monday, Wednesday, but because I didn't go yesterday, this week I'm seeing him on Tuesday and Wednesday, so that's where I'm going. Just in case you're wondering, this is my outfit of the day. It's a lot cooler today, so I'm actually wearing my blazer again. At this rate, my library checkouts will never be down to zero. I returned five books today. I checked out four books, and I have some reserves that are coming in later this week. I guess this is a good problem to have. Instead of doing one of my usual library haul videos, I'll just show you the four books that I got from the library today. This is A Night in Lisbon by Eric Maria Remark. This is the author of All Quiet on the Western Front. And when I posted my review of that book, Britta Bowler recommended that I try other books by this author. He's a German writer. And this is a book that I reserved and it came in already. The other three are books that I'm judging for the booktube prize semi-final round and I've read them already but I wanted to get them again because I needed to do a video. So this is West by Karis Davis, Washington Black by Ezzy Abdujian, and The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. So you're going to be seeing a video from me later this week about these three books and then at some point I'm going to be reading this one. So these are the four books that I got from the library today. Time to check out the video and Instagram challenges and see what I have to do today. I'm Robbie from the channel Robbie Reads. I'm actually probably a little bit more active on my bookstagram, Robbie Reads. Or you can do what I'm gonna do. My two truths and a lie are about books. I have read two of these books and I have not read one of them. I'm gonna make this really easy. You know this year I'm doing my Booker Prize reading challenge. So I'm gonna show you three books that have won the Booker Prize and you get to tell me which of these three books I'm lying about. Now my goal this year is to read all of the books that have won the Booker Prize in this calendar year, but some of these are books that I've already read. So I'm gonna be lying about one of these three books. I've read two and I'm lying about the other one. So is it the 1978 winner, Iris Murdoch, The Sea, The Sea, or is it the 2000, 2001 winner, Peter Carey's True History of the Kelly Gang, or the 2010 winner, Harry Jacobson, The Think We're Questing. Which of these three Booker Prize winning novels have I not read? Which of them am I lying about? So that's today's video challenge. Today's Instagram challenge is to take a photo of an outfit that is inspired by a book cover. I'm just gonna use the book that I'm reading right now, which is a Tesla Legacy. And I'm reading it because it meets the challenge of a book with purple on the cover. So I'm pulling up some purple elements. I have a purple blazer and some purple socks. And I think that 
this is a cool enough outfit that my main character, Lucy, short for Lucinda, named after the goddess of light. I think this is something she would wear to go to school. Or something like that. Because I am. Mildly mad. This thing needs an exhaust kick. I just finished The Tesla Legacy by K.K. Perez. This is the first book that I'm finishing for the Reading Rush Readathon. End of day two, one challenge completed. This met the challenge of read a book with purple on the cover. And I liked a lot of things about this book. It's about a teenage girl named Lucinda. Well, they call her Lucy. And she's a high school senior. She's just discovered that she has the lightning gene. And she has powers. So I originally chose this book because I wanted to read a book about a human with superpowers or something like that. It's for reading challenge and I asked Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany to recommend a book for me and she gave me a few choices and this one, I narrowed it down to this one because based on her description it would be about a girl who was in STEM. And I really like that inclusion. I love the fact that we had a girl who was scientific and even separate and apart from her mutant powers, I like the fact that the author included a lot of science references, a lot of science education almost. This book could double as a physics supplementary, not a textbook so much, but a supplementary read. And I liked that a lot. I liked her interest in science and the fact that she was comfortable being nerdy and that there were people around her who supported her. If there was anything about this book that bothered me, it was the way it wrapped up. The last 50 pages or so mm, fell a little bit in my estimation, but I loved a lot of the synopsis of this book and the execution of this book. So I'm giving this a four star rating. Not my usual kind of read, but I liked it, I enjoyed it, so. Now that I've got one challenge completed, end of day two, and tomorrow we'll see if we can complete another challenge. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're also doing Reading Rush and how you're doing with your challenges. So we'll talk in the comments, and until next time, happy reading. Bye.